December is the worst month to land copywriting clients. Everyone's in vacation mode. They've fucked off to Vanuatu. They're away for the holidays. They're not checking email and they're completely neglecting their businesses. And if you think that, you couldn't be more wrong. December is one of the absolute best months to land high paying clients. And in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly why. And I'm also gonna show you the secret Santa method for landing high paying copywriting clients, which is by far the best method to land clients in December. If you've mentally checked out for the year and you're waiting for the new year to make a change, then consider this your wake up call to get back in the saddle and to get to work because the year is far from over. Don't fall prey to premature evacuation and call off the hunt early because the business owners that you're actually wanting to work with are still going ham and that means you should be as well. It's the final mile of a year long marathon. Do you really think people are slowing down right before the finish line? Maybe around Christmas time, okay? But before that, it is full gas. Every business owner is gunning all out to make sure that they hit their sales targets for the year and they're thinking about how they can make next year better than this year. So what's so good about December, Sean, huh? Well, here are three reasons why December is the best month for landing high paying copywriting clients. Number one is the new year, new me effect. If you go to gym, you know how it is, all right? The gym is absolutely packed in January. For the first couple of weeks of the year, everyone's all fucking motivated and shit. You know, fucking new year, new me, this and that. 2024 is gonna be my year. They are all about it for a week. And then come mid-January, the place is empty again because the average person is that pathetic that they literally cannot commit to their goals for more than two weeks. And as it turns out, business owners aren't immune to this new year effect either, all right? They just have slightly more foresight than the average person and their oh, oh shit, shit moment oh, shit. typically happens in December instead of January. Every business owner had goals for this year, all right? Whether they absolutely smashed them like I did or it was a total train wreck and they want to forget the whole year like 2017 me. They definitely all have one thing in common, which is that every single business owner Hell, every single person on the planet wants next year to be even better than this year was. And guess what that means, right? They must change stuff. Okay. Are you crying? No. Yes. If they keep doing the same shit, that means they're gonna keep getting the same exact results. So a new year means Launching new products, testing new ads, creating more content more consistently, branching out to new platforms, hiring new coaches, joining new masterminds and programs, firing underperforming team members, and yes, hiring new team members like <coughs> copywriters. And anyone with half a brain understands that in order to hit goals that you've never hit before, you need to do things that you've never done before. And Hey, by the way, that also goes for you watching this, all right? If you want next year to be better than this year, then you should probably consider investing into an actual proven mentorship like, I don't know, CMB? rather than watching hundreds of free YouTube videos like this one. So that's number one, all right? We know that cold outreach is a game of timing. So it stands to reason that it's never going to be easier to land clients than at a time when business owners are actively looking to make a change in their business. Number two is that frankly, there's a lot of sales at this time of the year, all right? We got Black Friday, Cyber Monday, Christmas sales, Boxing Day sales, New Year sales. It's Tuesday, so let's have a sale, sales. So that means that people want to go out and spend money. And in order for people to spend money, that means that businesses need to have assets and systems in place to collect that money, like ads, funnels, sales pages, Facebook ads, and emails, right? If you've ever run Facebook ads, you'll know that ad costs go crazy in December because every e-com store and their mom is running ads to sell products for the Christmas holidays and since there's only limited slots, it means that everyone pays more in Facebook's bidding war and ad costs go way up. Oh, and by the way, guess who actually writes all those ads, emails, and sales pages? Huh, that's right, copywriters. Once again, we are the backbone of society. Another W for copywriters. And finally, number three, business owners want tax write-offs, all right? If you're in America or Europe, especially where your tax year runs from the 1st of January to the 31st of December, then any business which wants to minimize its tax bill, which is all of them, because 
taxes suck, is going to be looking for some end of year investments that it can make to lower its profits on paper so that it can lower its tax bill. Business. Money. So now that I've hopefully convinced you why December is a fantastic time to land clients, now let me show you the actual best way to go about landing clients in December. This is my infamous secret Santa method. And if there's anyone you're absolutely dying to write for, then this works hands down better than anything else out there. Now, before I give you the step-by-step -step plan, Let's take a look at what you're doing right now, most likely to land clients, sending cold emails and DMs, or even better, the good old hope and pray strategy. What do you guys love that one, all right? How's that working out for you? So check this shit out, all right? I want you to imagine for a second that you're sitting at home, all right? Watching some crazy Aussie guy on YouTube talk shit like you are right now, all right? And you see an email pop up in your inbox. On a scale of one to 10, how easy is it to ignore that email? You blink your eyes and you've literally forgotten about it straight away, right? That's how easy it is. Then a few minutes later, you get a phone call. How difficult is it to ignore that phone call? Well, you know, it's a little more invasive than an email. You know, it'll force you to pay attention for a second, but then you simply reject the call and get on with your day and forget about it straight away. Then a few minutes later, you get a knock on the door. You peek outside through the blinds and for fuck's sake, man, it's some goofy salesman standing there with a clipboard and a high-vis jacket trying to sell you solar or some shit, right? Switch electricity providers, they keep knocking. So, you know, it's a little harder to ignore than just an email or a phone call. But if you wait long enough, eventually they will get the hint and they will go away because they'll think that no one's home and they'll leave you alone. Now, imagine a few minutes later, bang, a whole ass SWAT team breaks down your door, fucking shattered glass everywhere, flashbangs going off, smoke grenades and shit, right? 12 black ops just fucking assault rifles right in your face. How difficult is that to ignore? One to 10, fairly difficult. All right, this is an 11, right? Difficulty level, impossible. That is exactly how we want to show up in front of your prospects, all right? Rather than drowning in a sea of emails and DMs and getting ignored and rejected like everyone else, we want to grab your prospect's attention by the throat and literally force them to pay attention. While everyone else is out there throwing hooks into the ocean, just hoping to get a little nibble and maybe, maybe one day a fish, you're literally coming in there with a stick of dynamite and you're nuking the entire lake. That is how we want to show up. You let me know which one you think is more effective for catching fish. So if you want to go back to the old, slow, painful way of doing it, then by all means, be my guest, right? But if you want to land at least one, two, or even three new high paying copywriting clients this month in December, guaranteed, then let's talk about exactly the dynamite you're going to use to do that. Let's do this. Now, if you've ever seen my popular free training on the WOW package, then you know exactly what's up. But essentially, this is a fun Christmas spin-off of that. Here is what you're going to do. Step one, make a list of 30 clients that you would love to work with. This is only for the businesses and influencers that you would really love to work with, okay? The dream clients, all right? Because it does require a little bit of time and money, but if you are willing to put in the effort, right? Trust me, this shit flat out works better than anything else out there. Are you serious? So that's step one, all right? Make a list of 30 to 50 people that you would love to work with. On brand with the giving spirit of Christmas, you are going to send your prospects a gift in the mail, all right? Yes. I am talking about a physical gift in the physical mail. Old school direct response Dan Kennedy shit. Because in a world of digital emails, DMs, and a mountain of noise, right? There's literally no better way to stand out and guarantee that your prospects pay attention than literally showing up at their front door. Don't actually do that, right? You'll probably get arrested, but definitely do send a package. Which brings me to step two, find their address. This bit, is actually super easy because if they're sending marketing emails, then by law, they literally have to include their address at the bottom of all of their emails, which if they're a coach or influencer or something like that, then nine times out of 10, it's probably also going to be their home address because it is fully possible to run a multi-million dollar coaching business from your living room couch. Trust me, I do it every day. 
Now failing that a lot of the time, you can actually find their website or Google their business address and it'll just come right up. Check the company house or your country's directory of companies. So like the UK company house, Australia company house, etc., which basically has a directory of all the companies that are out there, it has all the addresses, all the names of the owners, the CEOs, literally everything you could want and need. And you can just search for it all right there on the government website. Pretty handy. Or last resort, okay, this one might just blow your mind. Just ready for it. Reach out to them, reach out to the support and ask. It is quite literally that simple. Okay, mind blowing, I know. In fact, I actually had a friend, Mikey, who he tried this with the top 100 dance music labels in the world. He used a generic email address, made up a fake name, all right, so he had no status whatsoever. He literally just emailed the top 100 labels and he was like, hey guys, you know, thanks for the amazing tunes this year. I'm wanting to send you a gift. Like, can I just grab a name and a mailing address? And 67 out of 100 replied and gave him a name and a mailing address because who doesn't love gifts, right? That's your address bit. Honestly, super simple, super straightforward. It's actually the easiest part of this whole thing. And you'll probably be able to get around 90% of the addresses pretty easily. So the only thing we have left to worry about is step three, what goes in the package? And this bit is super simple, all right? It's gonna be a letter with something bulky attached to it. That is it, two things. Why something bulky? Because envelopes are boring, all right? And they get ignored. Right. Tell me, are you genuinely excited when you receive an envelope in the mail? Like, are you jumping with joy, like in anticipation of opening it? Probably not. What's in your typical envelope? Junk mail, bills, marketing letters, real estate flyers, fan mail, Jesus letters with a Jehovah's Witness inside, death threats, just me. Okay, noted. Nothing exciting has ever been found inside of a simple white envelope ever in history. So. We want to show up differently, okay? Now, on the contrary, tell me, if you ever receive a mysterious package in the mail, something bulky with like a 3D item in it, are you opening it? Yes, 100% of 100% of the time, you are opening that package. You're intrigued, excited, maybe a little bit nervous, right? Is it a gift? Is it a pipe bomb? You don't know, and that is what makes it so exciting. So. Unless your prospect is Justin Bieber, they are 100% opening the package when it arrives, all right? So regardless of what's inside, you've already guaranteed yourself a near 100% open rate, right? You're not getting that from any DM or any cold email. Now, the only thing left you might be wondering is for the bulk, what do we put in there, right? So there are really two ways that you can tackle this. Option one is that you can go big and bougie and send them an actual like personalized gift, right? It could be a bottle of their favorite drink, a chew toy for their dog, a toy for their kid if they have young kids, a nice cigar if they're into that, right? A fancy lighter, a nice looking bracelet or a keychain, a flask, a whiskey glass, a nice travel sized aftershave, a desk plant, phone case, Kodak, nice smelling candle, a diffuser, a hat, a beanie, a notebook, a portable charger, smart water bottle, personalized chocolate bar, a back pillow, comfy slippers, a razor, maybe their pubes are getting a little bit long. I don't know, right? Just do a few minutes of research, stalk the shit out of their socials to see if there's anything that sticks out or any ideas that come to mind and then order it on Amazon for cheap. If there is someone that you are dying to work with, then this is by far the most effective way to get their attention. Nothing says wow, like an unsolicited personalized gift. This is gonna trigger crazy amounts of reciprocity. And even if you don't end up working with them, then they're very likely gonna at least take the time to reply. They'll be very appreciative and they'll probably help you out in some other kind of way, like referring you to their friends who need a copywriter and so on. Now, of course, this is quite an expensive option. Right? Between the gift and the shipping, this is probably gonna set you back anywhere from 30 to 100 bucks per person. But remember, Right? These are high ticket clients we're going after here, right? For a 2K, 3K, even 5K a month retainer. Let's say you get a client for 3K a month, that's 36 grand a year, right? Assuming you do a good job and they stick around. So even if you spend two grand on packages and you send out 40 packages for 50 bucks each and you only manage to land one client, if they end up paying you 36 grand a year, is that worth it? I'll give you a hint. Yes, an 18X ROAS is no joke. If you wanna see the highest levels of this, the top luxury brands in the world regularly gift their top customers 
Designer handbags, FIFA World Cup tickets, trip to New York Fashion Week, like extremely extravagant five-figure gifts because they know that the top 40% of their income comes from just 5% of their customers. And if they nurture those customers well, then they'll be spending tens, hundreds, or even millions over the years. The bigger the gift, the more reciprocity you will build. I am the one the now, Having said that, I understand that not everyone watching my channel is making 100K a month and can just drop bands on rollies and shit on a whim. All right, so if you're not there yet, then you know join CMB and Resistance, obviously, and you will be there soon. But there is a cheaper alternative, all right? Option two is instead of triggering reciprocity, we're gonna use wit, charm, and humor. What you're gonna do you're gonna to go to a site like 3dmailresults.com. You're gonna buy a gag item, kind of like a plastic foot, message in a bottle, silver platter, fortune cookie, shredded money, all that kind of stuff. Then you're gonna make a clever joke out of it. So plastic foot. Hey, I'm just trying to get my foot in the door. Silver platter. Hey, this message was so important. It had to be delivered on a silver platter. Fortune cookie. Hey, it's Sean here from the future. I've just read your fortune and it turns out we're gonna make a lot of money together. Here's how, blah, blah, blah. A foam dumbbell. Hey, I know you're super busy. Let me do all the heavy lifting for you. Fake x-ray results, do not bend. Hey, he's an actual smile of the last client I worked with after his first month working with me. Would you like to be next? Picture of an x-ray smile. A fragrance sampler. Hey, you know what? All the cold emails in your inbox stink. So this will cover up the scent until we work together. If they don't reply, follow up, send them a peg, right? Hey, obviously the fragrance didn't work. So here's a peg, stick that on your nose to cover up the stench of your other cold emails until we can work together. A bag of fake money. Hey, this is what you could be making every month if we were to work together. A bag of shredded money. Hey, this is a live photo of your Facebook ads account right now. Right, stop shredding your money with these outdated ads and let me write you high converting Facebook ads instead. A plastic trash can. Hey, this right here is your email account right now with all of your emails going to the promotions tab. With every email you send, you may as well take a thousand dollars and just Put it directly in the bin, right? Because that is frankly how much you're missing out by your emails not being in primary. A set of foam earplugs. Hey, I'm sending you these earplugs because I know you're getting pitched by dozens of terrible freelancers nonstop. Stick these in your ears until we can start working together and then you can take them out. There are hundreds of cheap ideas like this, right? All we're trying to do here is just grab their attention with something with a clever hook that makes them go, ah, you know what? That made my day. And something that's a bit funny and just makes them crack a smile. And then you pitch them on why they should work with you, right? That's it. Not rocket science. You're showing up differently from every other thirsty freelancer in their DMs, in their emails. And for the letter, super simple, All right? Write a clever cold email, including some credibility, some proof, a strong offer, and a clear CTA, just like you would with any cold email. You're just gonna print it out. That's the only difference, right? Change the first name for every person, obviously. Good idea to also add a personalized first line at the top. Tweak it slightly for every person, take it to a printer, print out 30 copies, done and dusted. Also, pro tip, you wanna make sure that you include a QR code at the bottom of the letter with a link to your website, right? You can make a super simple one page website in card for free with a bio, some testimonials and some samples, your socials, an email and a way to contact you. And if you want more info on that and how to set it all up, you can find that in this video right here. It is super easy to make a custom QR code. You can literally do it online, five seconds for free. And if you wanna be a mega boss, then you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and set up a custom bit.ly link for each person so that you can actually track who's clicked and who hasn't. And that will give you ammunition when you follow up and you can say, hey, I noticed you got my package. Hope you enjoyed the gift. By the way, here's three sample emails that I went ahead and wrote for you. Let me know what you think, send them out, see the kind of results they bring. I don't want anything for them. Hope they make you tons of money. If they do, let me know and we'll talk soon. Cheers. All right, super simple follow-up. Now, what you're gonna do when you're sending them, stick them in an envelope, the lumpy mail and the letter, right? And then handwrite the person's name on the envelope. Very important. Stick a stamp on it, all right? It should kind of look like a letter from your nan, something like that, like personalized. And that's it, all right? Take them to the post office and fire them off. And if you want an example of a word for word script for this letter, then I actually have a book coming next year. As you may or may not know, I have been writing this book for the last three years. It has been done for a long time, waiting to be published, waiting to be released, but it is finally done. 
I know I said this in this exact video last year, but I actually will be launching it next year, which is very exciting. After many, many revisions, I will finally be a published author. So if you want early access to chapter five of my upcoming book, which is all about the WoW package and exact word for word scripts on how to do this, I'm happy to hook you up. All right, just DM me the word chapter five on Instagram, all right, and I'll send it over. 100% free, no strings attached, for your eyes only though, okay? Please do not share until the book is out. And then, nearly done, we have the fourth and final step. As always, with any marketing campaign you run, right, we are going to follow up. Okay, most people, unfortunately, will not reach out to you simply from the letter alone, but you are top of mind, right? And they will very likely reply if you go ahead and email them afterwards. So it's on you to email them a few days later and follow up and say, hey, how'd you like my plastic foot, right? You know, and they'll come back to you with a, ah, oh, yeah, you know, that's clever. Like, what do you have going on? Like, send me some samples, let's chat. Get them on a call and then you can take it from there. Tell me, if you first send this package to someone in the mail, then you follow up on email, do you think you're gonna have a greater chance of getting a reply than if you just sent an email? Probably. In fact, if you send this to 30 prospects and then you send a follow-up email to 30 prospects, zero to 10, what do you think the chances are of getting ghosted 30 out of 30 times and not getting a single reply from anyone? Not gonna happen, all right? There is no way, all right? You will get replies. At least 50% of the people should email you back. And for most people watching, that's probably 50% more than you're getting right now. And if you don't hear back, do you give up? Do you curl into a ball and cry? No, follow up again and again and again. Send them another letter in the mail a week later, right? at least three times, at least two or three follow-ups, all right? So you send the first one on Monday, don't hear back, fine. Send the second one the next Monday, don't hear back, fine. Send the third one the following Monday, and if you're sending international, just make them two weeks apart instead of one week because it takes a little bit longer. Listen to me, all right? I know for a fact 99% of people watching this will never do this, okay? Because it takes effort. So if you actually do this and you actually send out 30 of these packages and you do not manage to land at least one high paying client, Email me and I will personally help you rewrite your hook, your letter, craft your entire marketing campaign so that the next batch you send out will 100% work. Oh, thank you, thank you. All right, this is tried, this is tested. The best marketers in the world have quite literally been doing this for decades, well before the invention of the internet and it just fucking works. Be the SWAT team, burst in their front door with a package, secure yourself some high paying clients by Christmas and then Hey, come back to this video, drop a comment when you do so that we can all celebrate your success. That's it for this one. My name is Sean Ferris. And in case you haven't seen it yet, you can check out my playlist right here on exactly how to go from zero to 10K a month as a freelance copywriter. Check it out, 100% free. You'll get a shitload of value from it. And I'll see you in the next one.